Hi, this is Vicky. Today I'm going to be doing uh, the tag uh, products I've used today, and I think that's the name of it. Um, if it might be slightly different, if it is, um, I will. Well, you'll see it in the title. Anyway, um, I saw Judy T1661 do this tag, so um, I decided to do it. So anyway, uh, what you do is just list off the things that the products that you use today. So the first thing I put on was my Lancome High Resolution Co Laser 5X serum, and then I follow that up with the Lancome High Resolution uh, Refill 3X moisturizer with SPF 15, and then. I applied my uh, Maybelline Baby Lips, and this is in Quenched. It's right there. Excuse my nails today. Um, I've got like I pulled a hangnail and it got infected, so I've got to take off my polish. Anyway, that's the baby lips. Um, next thing I did was um, plucked my eyebrows with the tweezerman tweezers. <laughs> Just something I had to do today, so I thought I'd throw that in. And next, I applied my Clinique Moisture Surge Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 15. And that is in the color 03. And uh, let's see, and I applied that with my Sigma uh, Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki, number F80. Looks like that. It's my favorite brush. Okay, and then, let's see, uh, next I applied my under eye concealer, and that's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. And this is in the Brightener, number 60. Oh, you know what? I applied this first. I'm sorry. I applied this before the tinted moisturizer, okay? Kind of got that out of order there. And then I set it uh, with the Makeup Forever HD Powder. And I used this brush. Uh, this is a brush from Walmart. It's their, um, the premium brushes that they have. They come in little packs. This came with a pack of three. It's double-ended. So I set it with that. And then, um, let's see. Then I applied my, this, the packaging, the, the writing wore off, but this is the e.l.f. Eyelid Primer, and this is, it's sheer. Not sure if you'll be able to read that, or if I could hold my hand steady enough for you to read it, but that's sheer. So anyway, it looks like that. And this is a pretty, I, I have Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I won this as part of a gift uh, last year, and uh, it's pretty good for a dollar. <laughs> Does the job. Uh, next, I applied for eyeshadow uh, the Lorac eyeshadow palette. It's a quad, and this is the Topaz, which is bronze shades. And this is the be this is the bejeweled collection. <laughs> anyway, they look like that. What I did is I applied. Uh, what did I do? Oh, I applied this one, this goldish one, all over the lid. 
and then I applied this in the crease and outer corners and this is a highlight and I did not use the brown well I did use the brown shade I used this color and the brown shade mixed together for underneath my eye so anyway uh, that's what it looks like it's a really pretty palette so I really like it a lot and what I did is I used these brushes to apply it I used uh, this is a Sonia Kashuk brush looks like that just a shader brush I use that to apply all over the lid and for the highlight and then in the crease this is another one of those Walmart um, premium brushes or whatever they're called and I use this end to apply in the crease and the outer corner and then uh, to blend everything I use my Sing Sigma blending brush the E25 which looks like this and of course these brushes are dirty all my brushes here you're seeing are dirty because I just applied my makeup so anyway so that's that uh, next I applied my physician's formula and this is the eye booster 2-in-1 lash boosting eyeliner and serum in deep brown And there it is. And I applied my mascara, which is right now the Rimmel London Volume Accelerator Mascara. And this is in color 001 Black. Um, I did a review on this, if you're interested. And... There's the wand. And then I did my eyebrows with the Revlon Colorstay Brow Enhancer. And this is light brown. So it has a light brown shade and like a champagne color highlighter. Under lid highlighter, which I don't use a lot. I use it sometimes. So anyway, that's light brown because the blonde looks kind of funny, so got light brown. And this is my, this part of the, this is the third, um, third uh, brush in that premium set that comes with three double-ended brushes at Walmart. So there's my little eyebrow spoolie. <sighs> I swear. <laughs> okay picking up cat fur <laughs> there it is okay and then to fix any little um, boo-boos that I had maybe with mascara or anything my Maybelline expert eyes 100% oil free eye makeup remover and then use that with a q-tip for blush um, I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Blissful. And here's the color for you. And to apply it, I'm using my Real Techniques Blush Brush. Blush Brush. <laughs> Oh, where is it? Really, really super nice blush brush. And for highlight, I'm using my uh, Guerlain Meteorites uh, Illuminating, Illuminating Iridescent Powder in Krill Gardenia. Very, very pretty highlight color. And as you can say, see, um, I've been using it a lot in the center area and here. 
but the flower is holding up really well. It hasn't really been breaking down or anything, so pretty neat. Okay, and I've been applying that with, where's that brush? Back to this uh, Walmart brush. That's the one I applied the powder underneath my eyes. So I've been applying it with that for now. And let's see, did I get everything? And the last thing would be my Rimmel Moisture Renewed Lipstick. And this is in the color 240 Latino. And these have an SPF of 18. And when I wear these, I don't wear any um, lip gloss because they have, as you can see, a nice little sheen to them. So you don't really need lip gloss. Anyway, there's the color. It's a really, really pretty color. And anyway, that's it, everybody. So I tag anybody that would like to do this tag. Um, it's kind of fun to see what people use, uh, you know, on a daily basis or, you know. I mean, like I switch the shadows and everything and the blush, of course, and things like that and the foundation. But it's kind of nice to just, you know, one day randomly show what you put on that day. So anyway, uh, tag anybody else to do this. Uh, leave it as a video response. And any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love reading all your comments. And uh, glad to be back on camera instead of just showing you my couch. <laughs> so I'll talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.